It's funny that when you're looking for a historical site and can't find one, that you realize you're sitting on top of one. So we were standing here last night and we were discussing historic sites and artifacts and so forth. And we were looking down and all of a sudden wondered, hmm, what's all this stuff? Is it lichen? Is it uh, some some fungus? Uh, what is it? And then it occurred to us it's actually the tar. And that this, actually, we were standing on a historic area where they dried their nets and preserved their nets. And here's the old vat site. They would have suspended it above between the two rocks. And then we looked a little further and Ryan found some hard evidence as in over here some bricks covered in tar or a brick there and another little construction thing going on here so uh, here must have been some sort of pier or something some kind of construction but at any rate Here we were lamenting that we're not coming upon any ruins or any old historical areas and we were actually standing on an old fishing camp site. Now they would have set these up in the summer, had them set up in the summer, but apparently they were quite elaborate since they were here full time with sh shanty shacks and, and everything else according to... Um, Brian has some historical books that uh, show this. Like, even this is interesting. Look at that. That has fallen around something. Huh. You can, you can definitely see the tar has fallen around some sort of shape, uh, sort of a oval type shape. So something was standing there at one time. Probably a log would be my guess of some sort. And so here's our morning crew prepping. And we have a an interesting day. Oh, the, the beautiful clouds kind of went uh, moved on. And there it is. Wow. Deanne and I are so enjoying our outings with the Can-Am Dinghy Cruising Association. We are exploring far and wide and discovering new interesting things and meeting great people. Thanks for having us guys and gals.